Today is the day. I do not say that John or Jonathan, that this generation or the next, will realize all this, but such is the character of that morrow which mere lapse of time can never make to dawn. The light which puts out our eyes is darkness to us. Only that day dawns to which we are awake. There is more day to dawn. The sun is but a morning star. I'm ready. Thoreau told us that all comfort and pleasure comes down to is warmth. Food is the fuel we burn to stay warm. We work for shelter that keeps us safe from the elements, and warm. Love, sex, and affection bring us a sort of emotional warmth. For every pleasure I can experience, its heart is warmth, and not one bit of it would be possible without the sun. So she deserves my worship. She brings us light and warmth and provides us with all that is good. The sun stands over us, lovingly, providingly, and yet we look away. I want her to know I appreciate her blessing. But she overwhelms me. I seek to see her, to thank her for her grace, but I cannot. The Greeks told the story of how Icarus's father created wings for him made from feathers and wax. He was warned not to fly too high, else he'd risk melting them. His hubris drove him to fly too close to the sun, and he fell into the sea. But I am not driven by pride. Rather, humility. But just as Icarus's wings were made with the fragility of wax, so too are my eyes. So, you believe that the sun brings every bit of warmth to this planet, and that's why you worship it? It's true. Well, why not worship, for example, this fire? Well, I could, but its mother is the sun. How do you figure? Well, every one of these logs we got from the woods behind us, and all of those trees grew only because the sun shined down on them. At some point, every cell in nature must have been touched by her rays. The moon. I realized my affection for nature when I looked into him. As he orbits around the earth, he spins at the same rate as his revolution. It's as if he always wants us to be looking at his face. And when I look into the tides, I know that he's breathing. Do you think that I can find the sun the way that you found the moon and the waves? John. This is your journey. You just have to do whatever it takes to make yourself feel whole. I'm ready. 
I do not say that John or Jonathan, that this generation or the next, will realize all this, but such is the character of that morrow which mere lapse of time can never make to dawn. The light which puts out our eyes is darkness to us. Only that day dawns to which we are awake. There is more day to dawn. The sun is but a morning star. John! Thank you. served me and melted as did Icarus's wings. They can no longer show me light from this mortal world. My mind's eye shows me what I need now. My eyes served their worldly purpose. In my blindness, I pray that whosoever should hear my story does not pity me. I have seen the sun, and there are no words. <laughs> 